all agents that once you attach a piece of surveillance equipment below your waist, you are free to keep it or burn it. Please do not return it to my Three, desk. Three, two, one. I just finished redacting our last game, so we're good for another game of... Gespionage! Who's up first? All right. That's me. Let's see, what would be good? How about this? Monopoly. Ooh. What percentage of people did not finish the last game of Monopoly they started? Probably, I don't know. I don't think I've ever finished a game of Monopoly. Oh, the last game of Monopoly I played was with Spike Vegeta, Wilco, and someone else from from GDQ and uh, from ESA, and we didn't finish. Okay, we have a guess. Sixty-nine percent. Okay, everyone else, time to guess if the actual percentage is higher or lower. You can also double down and guess much higher or much lower if you think the guess is off by 15% or more. Ooh, I hear you. Hi, Dad. Most people said lower. Let's see the audience answer. Oh, jeez. 43%. Solidly mediocre. No points at all, man. Let's see who got it right. That's nothing. Here's some points. Okay, who's up next? Slow King. Uh, I don't know. How about... What percentage of people currently own aquariums? Nope. I wouldn't like to take care of that. Okay, higher or lower? I hear you. I All right. Most of you are saying higher. And what did the audience say? Ah, rip. 12%. Dude. Excellent answer. Points for you. Got it right. Nice job. I've got some points for you. Next up. Hi, Dad. Not not a good start for me. Typey again. typey. Typey typey. Else. What percentage of people have been buried up to the neck in sand? Hell yeah, man. Of course. At the beach in France. Or Spain, I don't know. Or Italy, it could be anywhere. <laughs> no, I, I've never been to the sea in Italy, only lakes. So it was either France or Spain. You're almost out of time. Probably France. 50%. Everyone pick higher or lower. I hear you. That's a hard one, yeah. It's really depending on who's in chat right now. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say lower though. Hurry up! All right. People are thinking it's lower. How did the audience answer? Yeah. Thirty-one percent. Hey, you're a better guesser than our trained rats. Nice job. Let's see who got it right. Mark, yes. Here's your points. Dude, Sloking's running away right now. Points. Okay, who's up next? Ooh. All right, Surveillance Pro, what Scooby do you have yeah. for this? Superhero comics. What percentage of people prefer DC Comics characters, Superman, Batman, etc., to Marvel characters, Iron Man, Captain America, etc.? Mm. I really don't care. 
<laughs> I would hit doesn't apply to me because I I don't really care. Spider-Man is Marvel, right? 45%. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? I hear you. Lower. Alright. Oh, why did I say lower actually? Running out of time. People are thinking it's lower. And what does your audience think? Nice. 29%. That was a respectful guess. Who got it right? Well done. You get points. Who's next? Why do we refer to them as soft? Soft drinks. They didn't say sodas, they said soft drinks. What percentage of people prefer Coke's family of beverages to Pepsi's or RC's? What is even, what is even RC's? Anyway. Who prefers Coke over Pepsi? I think most people. Right? 40%. Everyone else. What? Project. This has got to be higher, dude. How much higher? Right. I, th I think people just like Coke more. Than Everyone thinks than it's higher. Let's see the audience answer. Yeah. 66%. Not terrible. You get a few points at least. We're tied. Who got it right. Oh, never mind. Now I get points. Well done. You get points. Okay, who's up next? I'm going to search for... First dates. What percentage of people when setting up first dates rely on familiar go-to places? What? I don't understand. What, what, can you, someone explain this to me? What is a familiar go-to place? Doesn't apply. Feels bad. <laughs> no. What do you What do you mean? First date. Eighty three percent. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? I hear you. Oh, popular places. Okay. Ooh. Hi, Dad. Running out of time. You know. Just one of you is saying higher. And what does your audience think? 82%. Woo! Slow wow, King. Off. Slow King struggling. The comeback. Who got it right? Ooh, points for you. You can still Next win this. Up. I hear you. All right, buckle in. I've got one for you. What percentage of people inside elevators usually attempt to close the door quickly on people racing to catch it instead of holding it open? <laughs> Come on. Now, I always try to hold it open for people when they are like running. I know I know a lot of people just ignore them. <laughs> 36%. Okay. No, I hold it open. I'm a good guy. What do you think? Higher or lower? I don't know. <laughs> I right. say higher. Most of you are saying higher. How did the audience answer? No. 21%. That's what we call in the ballpark. Let's see who got it right. Nice job. I've got some points for you. Okay, who's up next? 
Okay, here's something I stepped on in bare feet this morning. What percentage of people save twist ties for future use? You mean those? Time's awake, 20%. All right, what do you think? Dude, of course. And I always reuse them too. Dang it. Dude, a lot of people do that, man. I do that uh, okay. with for cables. It's just basically for cables, man. But maybe because I'm a streamer, I have so many cables. Dude, take a look at this. I don't know if there's enough light. Nope. <laughs> you can't see anything. Uh oh, final round time. We have been watching everyone in the audience to determine how they would answer this question. In which decade of the 20th century would most people prefer to live? Let's take a look at the board. 70s, of course. You have three guesses. The three most popular answers are worth points. Good luck. Now is not 20th century, guys. The audience, how you answer the question will affect who gets points. Remember, you can pick three answers, not just one. Let's see what answers you chose. I picked 70s, 90s, and now. Now, let's take a look at the results. Ah, oh, I failed one. Because 70s was the hippie time. Who's that special someone? Alright. Cobra. Income tax for the next three years. All right, let's do another one. 